Hey there, Racing Gamers, Mikey here, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 4 Quick Race Series. Today, it's Monster Energy Cup Series Racing from Kansas Motor Speedway for the running of the Digital Ally 400. For this night race, ladies and gentlemen, the kid gloves are coming off. We're kicking the training wheels to the side. We're running at 105 difficulty, no assist, nothing to help me whatsoever if something were to go wrong. And it's actually a little bit terrifying. I'm a little terrified if I had to be perfectly honest. I may look cool, calm, and collected under my shades of ball cap, but I assure you that is just so no one can read my thoughts. So if you're new here, you're probably wondering why that is. And uh, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for more NASCAR Heat 4 content. But if you're new here, I'm actually brand new to the racing wheel community. I'm running a Thrustmaster T150 wheel and pedal setup that came highly recommended for beginners, and I am very much a beginner. So despite my reservations, despite my nervousness, I do have to understand that this is all just a learning experience. We're going out here to learn, and if we can win some races along the way, that'll be great. So what will Kansas teach us tonight. We'll just have to wait and find out as the NASCAR Heat Countdown to Green continues and we're getting set to go racing. Ladies and gentlemen, the field has been set for Kansas. Here are the stories of the race. Chase Elliott had to change his engine after qualifying. Brendan Gaughan gave up his qualifying position for some brand new freshies. And Corey LaJoy failed tech inspection. And these three drivers will be starting us, starting at the back, leaving us to start P37 on the inside lane. Joey Legato and Kyle Busch are on the front row. We'll lead them to the flag. Bring the noise. We're racing at Kansas. Even start on the front there, getting side drafted by the nine of Chase Elliott. We're gonna try to work our way to the outside of Joey Gase, use these four fresh tires as much as we can. Oh boy, got a little bit loose up top. We're gonna get inside of the doubles area of Landon Castle. Trying to work our way inside of him, trying to work our way inside of BJ McLeod. Little contact there. That's all right, little casual contact inside of Matt Tiff the 51 BJ McLeod wants to be our draft partner he shoved us in the corner a little bit harder than I wanted to go he managed to he managed to hang on to it <laughs> kind of used tipped up a little bit there we're trying to work our way around X Matty D up here in the 95 Worked our way up to 33rd. Now this is probably the challenge that I really wanted. Work our way inside of Cody Ware. Ooh, got a little bit loose going into one that time at the layoff. A little bit more than I wanted. That's okay. Here comes the 32. Ooh, big bump, big shot from the 32. He pushes us almost past Jamie McMurray. Oh, we had to lay off just a little bit there. Here comes another shot from the 32. Oh, it caught me in my right rear. That got me a little loose off the of turn four. I managed to save it. That 40 is not letting me get far. Oh, boy. I messed up turn one. I gotta let him go. Oh, contact with BJ McLeod. We fall back to 36. These guys capitalized on it real quick. Here comes Matt Tiff shoving us into turn. Oh, man, three and four. He shoved us in a little bit too hard. I was laying off the gas, and he, he was still pushing. So that's unfortunate. Here comes the 66. Looking outside, Landon Castle. Going into turn one. Here comes... And then Castle pushing us up the racetrack. A little contact with Castle. 
Brendan gone, we're three wide in the middle, he gets it to us, we try to save it. That tip giving us another shift, another shift, another shove. <laughs> Matt Shove giving us another shift. That's what, that's what was happening. Okay. Trying to work our way inside of Brendan Gone. Yeah, this is the challenge. This is this is the challenge I was kind of looking for here. This is how hard I expected the game to be. Running back here in the, in the low 30s. Especially with my inexperience on this racing wheel and pedal setup. This is where I expected to be running. I said 105 difficulty, no assists. All that's turned off. Everything else is remaining normal. That tip giving us another shove. And we get such a run when they do that. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy about that, but... I gotta be careful. We gotta be careful about going into the turn because they do shove me in there harder than I wanna go. Alright, here we go. Working our way inside of X Matty D one more time. I'm gonna try to work my way inside of Jamie McMurray. Oh, Matty D side drafting us. Here comes Matt Tiff to the inside. He tried to capitalize. We got a big run on the outside. Oh, loose off of turn two. That's productively loose. That was that was frightening, but that was kind of awesome at the same time. That was a heck of a move. I mean, we were pretty much sliding, and I never lifted. 54% on that right front tire. We're a little bit tight, and I know that because we're tight going in. I'm also overdriving a bit, but we're, we're, we're tight. We need to fix that, and that's just me. Like I'm also on a tight setup, so I, gotta, I also have to take that into account. We're gonna try to catch up to BJ McLeod here. We managed to pull a gap on those other guys behind us. Man, that was an awesome pass. I gotta, <laughs> I'm gonna have to highlight that one and post it to social media. That was, that was great. That was, that was awesome. Here we go. I'm gonna try to work on BJ McLeod here. McLeod's gonna go to the inside. We're gonna run the high, the high side. See if I can get another run off the turn. BJ McLeod's gonna close the door. We're gonna give him a shot down the back straightaway. McLeod's gonna stay to the bottom. We're gonna stay to the high side. Try to work our way safely around McLeod. Here we go. Gotta run on the high side. McLeod closes the door up top. We run to the bottom, we tried to make the move, but we got too loose when we did it. Oh, the car just wouldn't handle it. Car can't, the car can't do that on these old tires. I, I can't make moves like that. If we were on freshies, I definitely could have got that position on him. But that was a heck of a move by BJ McLeod to block that run. I mean, he saw I had it, but I thought that was cool. That's cool, that's racing. That's what these guys are supposed to do. Shout out to 704. You got it right, mostly. 90%. You're like 90% there. The cloud has proven really hard to pass here. He side drafted right on past me again. He's also battling with Cody Ware up here. Gonna go to the high side. High side's not really working for us much. Yeah, we're just kind of all over the place. That high side's not really working. These tires are really, really making it hard for this car to, to, for me to handle this car. I'm gonna try to get a run on McLeod here. Little shots of McLeod. See if I can get him on past the 71 here of Ryan Truex. Oh, inside of Ryan, can I get the position on him? Oh, touch the apron a little bit there, had to lay out of the gas. We're still side by side as we come to the line. Advantage to Ryan Truex. See if we can get him in turns one and two. Uh, I just don't have enough car. Ooh, got the apron a little bit there. Uh, I just don't have enough car. These tires are way too worn. I just can't work my way around them. Here he comes again on the on the outside. 
Truex gets the position back. Well, BJ McLeod has kind of taken off from the two of us battling. Kind of ease back into the throttle a little bit here. Okay, our right front's on 21%. I don't want to blow this tire. I don't want to drive it too hard. Here we go. Inside of Truex. Yeah, I think we got him this time. We're all clear. Got the position. I love the fact that the AI have tire wear. I have not seen this since NASCAR 15. Just haven't. I'm so glad that they had tire wear and I can actually able to pull off some of these moves. There's no way I would have been able to do that in NASCAR E3. <laughs> okay, working inside of McLeod. We're going to have to come down to pit. There's just no way around it. we got to come down to pit. I don't think we're... It's just not going to last. I mean, I passed BJ McLeod. I didn't really want to. But he just kind of gave the position to me. I'm going to draft on behind Cody Ware. In the middle of the racetrack, BJ McLeod wants to draft with us. All right, so I'm going to lay off a little bit here, let BJ McLeod on by. Go on by, buddy. He tried to draft with me again, but I, I was like, nah, I'm trying to pit. All right, backing it on down. Oh, it's decent. That was a decent pit road entry. And the caution is out, of course. Of course. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm down here. I might as well pit. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, take this wedge way on down. Take it two rounds of wedge out. And kind of bump the tire pressure up a little bit there. So I'm so I don't am I gonna pit twice? Am I gonna pit twice if that's what's gonna happen? Did I pit twice? I'm not sure. Oh, BJ McLeod's out of the race. Coming to the green. Here we go. Green flags back in the air. My voice cracked a little bit there. Sorry, dealing with puberty. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see if we can make something work here. Golly, the 66 is sidetracking the heck out of me. He finally let me go. <laughs> I was trying so hard to get away from the 66. He was just sidetracking me. Stay on the bottom. All right, I gotta make this. I gotta get used to like the new freshies now. Gotta drive a little bit harder. These guys behind me are driving hard, so I gotta drive a little bit harder. Here comes X Matty D to the inside. X Matty D gets into us. Oh, X Matty D's around. He saves it. He saves it. Oh my gosh. What in the world, Matt? What you doing? I thought we were supposed to be boys. All right, I need to, I need to get out of this. I'm three wide. I need to back out of that. Let's back on out of that. Oh well, thank you, JB McMurray. You know what? You're a gentleman for that. Thank you. I'm gonna go right on back by X Matt Ed. Joey Gase kind of following me through here. 66. Here he comes. I'm gonna cut him off a little bit there. To be the drafting partner. Thank you. Loving that reverb. Loving that reverb sound, by the way. Hopefully, I didn't make this car too loose. I mean, I only went. I went two rounds down, but that's 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 pretty. That's pretty significant. Eleven laps to go. I'm gonna try to work on Ryan Truex here. Ryan Truex is running the top and running the bottom. Yeah, we got some significant speed here. Got some significant speed in the draft of Ryan Truex. He's running the top. I'm going to run the middle. Here in three and four. Get right there up to him. Ooh, boy, I did get loose. Oh, boy, I'm really loose. Really loose. Really squirrely down there. Trying to get to the inside of Ryan Truex here. Here we go. I got a good run off of turn two. Not quite. 
Oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Can I get to him? Uh, almost. Not quite. Oh, we got a good run. Got back on it a little bit sooner than he did. He lets us go. Sweet. Thank you, Riot Truex. Let's castle down to the bottom of the racetrack. Nine laps to go. Here we go. Running this middle lane here. I can't tell back there. I can't tell. Did Ryan Tricks follow me in the middle lane? That'd be cool if he really did. I can't really tell if he did or not. Landon Castle inside of the double zero. Boy. And we're getting loose off the turn, like, big time. Clear. Make the pass with 34th. I'm trying to work on Brendan Gone here. Drafting off of Brendan Gone down the back straightaway. Looks like Bubba Wallace is up there. I'll try to see if I can work on him. Oh man, the car hooked up so well in three and four there. Look at the big run I got on Brendan Gone. Moving to the inside. Oh boy, real oh, loose into turn number one. Had to lay off the gas big time there. Almost lost it. I'm not sure what happened, but I got big time loose going into turn one. Managed to save the car, but golly. Okay, car hooked up again. Car hooked up really well to turns three and four. I'm just loose off. I'm going to have to be careful about that. Moving my way to the inside of Brendan Gone once again. I don't want to get side drafted. I'm going to stay down to the bottom. He's running the top. I think he's still there. Okay. Man, I'm just so loose off the turn. Let's see if I get the car to hook up. Oh, he comes down. He takes our line away. He puts some air on the nose. Oh, we got work to the inside. Can we get him? He side drafted us, trying to stay with us. We clear him. Five laps to go. Yeah, turn one and two is kind of our Achilles heel. Golly, this car is just loose coming off. Turns three and four, this car hooks up. That high lane. Look at this guy. Look at this. Just get right back on the gas. It just it just hooks up so well I can go wherever I want to go. I just gotta be careful coming off the turn because it's loose. I'm also probably putting too much wheel input into it. I need to probably straighten out faster than I actually am. Four laps to go. Got on the apron there. That's going to hurt us a little bit. Yeah, I just, just got to figure out turn one and two. I think I've got turn three and four kind of figured out here. Man, look at th look at how good the car hooks up, man. That's just great. Here we go. Three laps to go. And we work on Cody. Oh, man, I got really loose. Really loose. Going in again. Man. I got to figure out something with turn one and two. I got to figure out something. If not, I think I'm going to wreck it. Cody Ware running that high Kyle Larson line. Uh, we didn't get it to hook up that good through turns three and four. It was a decent turn turns three and four. My voice cracked again. <laughs> Adisa turns three and four, but couldn't get it hooked up as much. Oh, man, now we're tight. I stayed on a little bit longer to try to combat that loose end. Man, oh, man, we're just tight. Oh, save it, save it, save it. Save it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, man, we wrecked it. We wrecked it. Race is over. We wrecked it. Gosh dang it. Thirty-fourth place finish for us. Kevin Harvick logs the fastest lap of the race. Let's go ahead and give you the race. Let's go ahead and give you the top ten. Brad Keselowski, Kevin Harvick, Clint Boyer, Eric Jones, Joey Logano, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Blaney, Eric Almirola, and Kurt Busch round out the top ten. Uh, I, why? Why are they a lap down? 
How does first place become a lap down? Like, like, like how, what, what, how does, what's the, how does, how does that logically happen? How does first place <laughs> become a lap down? <laughs> uh, Kevin Harvick led the most laps of the race. And on the move is Brad Kozlowski. He actually won the race and actually started 15th. But golly, how, just, just how, how, how do you, how do you, how do you lap yourself? Uh, just explain that to me. Ex explain that to me. <laughs> I would love someone to explain that to me because how how in the world that happened? <laughs> but anyway, this was a new experience for us. Um, we got some good old fashioned mile and a half racing. You know, cookie cutter track. I figured I'd try out one of those guys. Um, I figured that would probably be the the best bet, the safest bet, just go ahead and try out one of these cookie cutters. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. The car was a serious handful, though. The car was a serious handful. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's any more of a handful than it was on um, with the, the assist with very limited assists on the hard setting basically I would say it's any more of a handful I think most of that most of the handling attributes come from the track the track is just you know it's, it's, it's a little slick it's a little slippery you know you gotta really hit your marks there because I was having a lot of trouble with turn one and two three and four I was able to start to really get into a rhythm there and get that really good and hooked up so that was fun um, yeah, I just couldn't hold on to it at the end there. Couldn't hold on to it at the end. It was just... And that's good. That's good. That's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you want to happen. I was trying... <laughs> I tried to save it. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> but that's what you want to happen. You want the cars to be hard to drive. They should be hard to drive. And they are. They're definitely a lot harder to drive. So, definitely, definite shout out for... To 704 for that. Um, I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Um... So, uh, also, stay tuned to the channel for some... I'm going to introduce my friends to some of these, uh, to this game. Uh, because, like I said, I'm, I'm more new to the wheel and pedal setup. So, this will... Uh, I'm interested to see what their reaction is, because they're going to be brand new to not only the wheel and pedal setup, but also to NASCAR gaming altogether. So, that'll be fun. I'm going to get some of my friends to try it out, and uh, I'm not going to make them run on 105 difficulty. I wouldn't do that to them. But, <laughs> um, but I think this is probably where I'm going to be running. It'll be like between a 102, 105. I think 102 might work best for this track. 105 might work better for tracks like... Uh, Michigan and Auto Club and you know those tracks that are just like all right, uh, I'm I'm blowing by the AI here. I, I need I need I need to do a little bit better. I need something a little bit more challenging. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that that that's all I really got for this, guys. Like I said, stay tuned for some some special content uh, later on, probably probably next week. Uh, I'll probably get some friends over here to uh, to try out NASCAR Heat Four. I said it'll be their first NASCAR experience and. Probably not their first wheel experience, but definitely their first NASCAR experience, so it'll be fun. I'll be kind of guiding them through it. It won't be a whole lot of uh, presentation like I usually do for these games, but I said, I'll be kind of walking them through it, guiding them through it, trying to help them out a little bit, uh, and it's basically just to have some fun, so um, bring some more, some more fun to the channel. Like I said, subscribe. To definitely so you definitely won't miss that hit the bell uh, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos and that's it that's it guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a night for tonight thank you guys so much for tuning in to McGlam Racing on McGlam Entertainment we're trying to bring a little bit of enjoyment to your day every day and regardless of what time you're listening to this have a good night have a have, sorry listening and what, regardless of what time you're watching this messing up my outro have a good night, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, and I will see you in the next video.